Hey friend, hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to put the shopping list together for this rat build. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun today. All right, we're back. Let's open up Eagle. And we're gonna to go to File, Export, Bill of Materials. This will get us everything we need for the build. We're gonna save this to our desktop. I'm gonna call it rat. Let's call it rat.bom. All right. Here we go. Cannot forget the triple pole double throw switch or the enclosure. And if you remember what we chose last time, it was a 1590B. All right. And one other thing is you should always have a stock of input and output jacks and power jacks. I never just buy what I need for the build at hand. I always buy extras of those. Uh, I usually have 50 on hand at any given time. Um, now that I said that, there won't be any in there. But let's get started on shopping. Oh, we forgot when we get our enclosure, make sure to get knobs for the potentiometers. All right, let's get the shop in. Um, what I like to do is print the sheet out, the bill of materials, and I'll go through all my stock and mark off the things I already have, and I'll put a slash outside if I actually need that part. All right, so some of the things we're going to need are, this is Tata. It's always my first stop because the prices are right. I'm gonna get the 30 pica farad ceramic disc capacitors. It's here, C4. I'm gonna get the 100 pica farad disc capacitors, that's C5. I'm going to get the JFETs and potentiometers. I'm going to get the trim pots. And I couldn't find the LM308s on this site. So I'm going to get a couple LM301s. It works really nice in this circuit. But just for when we find the LM308s, we're going to put a socket in there for the eight pin chip they are only three cents each so get get a card full of those um, the shipping's okay on here it turns out to be two bucks no big deal so we're gonna buy those then we're gonna go to love my switches I'm going to grab my cart I filled my carts up earlier to save some time. Uh, I got the enclosures, and I love these knobs. You, you, it's it's best to go and shop through the knobs that he, that he offers. There are some really cool ones in here. I uh, go by color over here, and these are nice. I thought they may be a little bit too big. Eh, 16 millimeter, but they, they'd most likely fit. If they're 20 millimeter wide, probably not. I uh, packed them in there kind of tight. So I got these ones, but I also like these ones on a black enclosure. That's what I picked was the black enclosure. 
They have these anodized ones. Gold looks good on a black enclosure. These are cool. All good stuff. But the ones I picked were these sandblasted ones. Uh, I got my foot switch and there were a bunch of switches on this layout and I really regret putting all these modifications on this rat. But I got the single pull double throws. I got the This was a mistake. These ones don't go. I wanted the solder lugs. And I got some double pull double throws, but we we're, we're going to add the solder lugs in there. Let's go back to the switches. Go to double pull double throws. Solder lug. We're going to check that box. All right, here we are. I like these short shaft ones, but we don't want on, on, on. We actually want just on and on. Right here. Perfect. So we're going to get. I'm going to buy nine of these. All right. Now, normally I go to Small Bear for my LM308s. Uh, they very rarely have the LM308s, but they have the UA308HC. Sometimes. Current stock, out of stock. All right. But since we were over at Tata, we're going to put this socket in, and we're just going to stick an LM301 in there. I like the LM301 in the circuit. It's a little less gritty. Um, some people say it's not the rat sound, but it sounds really nice. So we're going to get that. And I think that's all for shopping. We're going to place this order and we should be ready when our PCB comes back from OSH Park. Is it OSH Park or Osh Park? Somebody tell me. Thanks. All right. I'm going to get these ordered and I'll talk to you in a minute. That was a relaxing day of shopping. When you're on Tata, Get an OP07 chip. That's what the new rats use. And you're going to be hard pressed to tell a difference between that and the LM308s. Your shopping lists will be different than mine because of what I already had in stock. If you have items in stock, you don't have to order them and you could trim down your shopping list. Just make sure you get everything checked off on your list. It really stinks when you have to buy one item that you forgot to order. I've done it. You'll probably do it too. It's not a big deal, but it just, you pay that extra shipping, uh, especially if they do uh, a fixed shipping cost or a minimum shipping cost. Um, here's another reason to make sure that you make your printed circuit board small. Under normal circumstances, buying on OSH Park, it takes nine to 12 days for the manufacturing process and then shipping after that. If your printed circuit board is small enough and they have room on their Super Swift board, they'll stick it on there and they won't charge you the extra price for the Super Swift service. Uh, you'll get it in four to five days and that's a lot faster. Um, that's not including the shipping. It still takes a couple days to get to your house. But it's worth considering. Now, I know making the board extra super small is 
not always ideal. You'll have noise issues if you have traces that run too close to each other or cross in the wrong way. Um, if you make a bigger board, you could keep the power section away from the audio section. Maybe it'll make it quieter. You can keep the input away from the output. Maybe it'll make it quieter. It's all maybes. Uh, it's worth a try. If you use a bigger enclosure, it's easier to get the potentiometers where you want them. You don't even have to connect them to the board. Um, I just like to make them small, not just for cost savings. It's just a challenge to me. Uh, I like to squeeze them into those real tiny enclosures. One item I ran into, uh, one issue I ran into was uh, my second build. I made a Arbiter fuzz face and I made it as small as possible and I put the nine millimeter potentiometers too close. I couldn't even fit knobs on there. <laughs> I got the smallest knobs I could find and the outside of the one knob touched the other shaft of the potentiometer because there's no way to put on another one. It's just another thing to think about. I think that's it for today. Uh, when you're at Tata, make sure you pick up an OP07 chip or two. Uh, that's what the new rats use. You're going to be hard pressed to tell the difference between that and the LM308s. Uh, it's worth a try swapping out. Still look for the LM308s. Uh, the metal can versions that I showed you on Small Bear, they do fit into the sockets. You just have to bend the leads correctly because they're in the same order as the chips. In fact, in mine, I'll put a better picture, but you can see on mine, that I have the metal can in a socket and I'll take a close-up picture of that and put it here to show you how I have the leads bent. It's worth trying. I, I think the metal can is my favorite version of the 308. Uh, maybe I just had good luck with them. Uh, when Small Bear gets some in stock, buy a couple. That's the only place I've ever seen them. I always like to end the videos with a suggestion of a YouTube video to check out. And this time it's ClickSpring. It's not exactly related to this sort of channel, which is electronics, but he is a maker. And it can be inspiring in that aspect. Uh, it's just amazing the things he makes by hand. Uh, gears and clocks and machines and it's definitely worth checking out it's uh, his voice is soothing it's relaxing to just watch him make the items check it out click spring all right hey thanks for stopping by I really appreciate it if you have any questions let me know down in the comments see you next time